As the cost of food continues to rise, I don't see any reason for any of you to be paying for potatoes. Keep in mind that this video isn't going to have potatoes on your plate tomorrow. You'll have to go to the grocery store for that. But if down the road you'd like to go ahead and start producing potatoes and have a constant supply, well, we've got you covered there. Whether you're doing sacks, raised beds, container gardening, in-ground gardening, or any other combination of the above, you have to start with the correct seed potatoes. Yes, this means purchasing seed potatoes. I know, you're already sighing and rolling your eyes. I get it, I really do. But I appreciate that you're frustrated of the idea of spending even more money on something that you're pretty sure you could just go pick right out of a gnarly bag of potatoes, but you can't really do that. Instead, you need to buy good, safe, well-treated seed potatoes. Decide on your variety Variety, buy your seed potatoes and settle on a way to grow them. Growing a potato is very close to being the same thing throughout almost all possible growing methods. If you have a specific question, remember that you can always ask us for more advice in the comments below. I recommend growing double what you'll need to feed your family in your initial batch. Why? You'll be harvesting some of the potatoes a little bit early to start them to seed. If you're using a grow bag, you can gently brush away some soil, if you're very careful, to check on the progress of your spuds. When they've gotten to a size that is big enough for you and their variety, harvest them. For the ones that you're taking early, chop them roughly from their mother plant and set up an egg carton in a place where it won't be disturbed. Place each smaller potato in an egg carton cup, where the egg would normally sit, and allow them to sprout in a cool, dry area. You can rinse off the potatoes before you put them in the egg carton, but I do recommend that you don't allow them to remain moist any longer than you must. When your potatoes begin to sprout, allow them to do so for two to four weeks. Why such a gap in time? Every variety of potato sprouts a little bit differently than the others and they all grow at different paces. Once your sprouts are numerous and at least one inch long from the surface of the potato, ideally pointing away from the potato, you may separate the sprouts. With a knife, cut a chunk of the potato and sprout together from the rest of the potato. Most seed potatoes can be used three to 10 mounds of potatoes. Place these new seed potatoes in the planter the sliced down side against the soil and lightly pack it down. Your new potato plant will begin growing immediately. And this is how you grow potatoes forever from your initial seed potatoes. You'll be sacrificing some of your harvest to maintain your seed population, but it works very well so as long as you have plenty of room for potatoes or your demand is low. When planting potatoes, plant them in a round. What does that mean? Plant every two weeks once you get going. This means you have a fresh batch of potatoes to harvest every two weeks. You can also do this with most other types of tubers, even throughout winter if you aren't completely covered in snow. This includes lotus roots and even radishes, at least most types of them. Grocery store potatoes are healthy, starchy vegetables that are great for us to eat. However, grocery store potatoes are meant for consumption, not growing. They aren't really up for the task. That's why there are seed potatoes on the market as well as food potatoes. It isn't a get-rich-quick scam by gardening companies or anyone else. In fact, some potatoes may be carrying diseases that could harm your garden and potential upcoming harvests. They may also have very sad failure to thrive experiences. Grocery store-bought potatoes are better off as a meal, not nourishing the next generation of potatoes that will become meals. The last thing you want to do is grow plants that aren't their absolute best, especially when the space is tight in your garden. And if you do this right, no matter what season, your garden will be extremely tight with and full of potatoes. Tell us in the comments below if you can think of more options and reasons to keep your potatoes growing from your backyard. We'd love to hear from you and remember, happy gardening! Thank you to our source. This is Z on the voiceover. Bye bye